Mia Bordeaux just got hired to take over the two worst teams of the two best conferences in college football. And the first one to survive the Super Conference and win a national title wins. We're going to be in the same online dynasty where I will be taking over Rutgers in the new Big Ten and Bordeaux will be taking over Vanderbilt in the new SEC. Unfortunately, due to both programs' suckiness, there will be some restrictions. We can't recruit four-star recruits until we have a winning record in our conference. The same goes for five-star recruits. We can't recruit them until we have a winning record in our conference and the five-star recruit has to be in the same state or just one state away. This is a challenge like no other, but Coach Professor Potter feels confidently he could be the the first man to survive the Super Conference and win a national title. I mean, this is the team. It's not good. Let's hope for the best. I mean, year one, it's not going to be anything special, but I mean, yeah, we'll see. Maybe you can pull something miraculous off. We got Gavin Wimsett at quarterback, though. This is the quarterback of the future. This is the guy that's going to win us a natty. Probably not, but... Obviously, this Vanderbilt roster isn't great, so I've gone ahead and redshirted the few people I think could help us in the future. And the most important one to point out is AJ Swan. So at this point in the season, we're sitting at two and five. That's honestly not too bad. I'm gonna jump into this Auburn game. So far, it's been all right, and getting a touchdown on the second drive isn't too bad. I'm hoping we can get into the end zone here, and there it is. This is a terrible third down play call. Okay, that's game. Three and five is not terrible for the first year. That should have landed at least one decent recruit, I hope. I certainly underestimated the effects there, as this is a lot more people than I was expecting. Now checking out my team, hopefully you pull together some wins. Central Arkansas! <laughs> God, dude, the Bears. How did you win at Purdue? Wait, what? You lost to the two FCS schools, but you beat Purdue. Yeah, we're going to leave that to Scooby and the gang. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Back to Bordeaux. He has a very important game this week. We really need him to catch another L. If we win this game, then the whole season, we're still bowl eligible. Let's see what happens. Okay, we suck. Yeah, thank God. Needed that. But after simulating another week, I'm really hoping we got our second win. I mean, there's just no other way to express it or say it. We suck. We're 1-9. and nine. Things are just not looking good at all. I mean, we're just allergic to winning at this point. We lost to Central Arkansas. So, yeah, our one win was against Purdue. So, <laughs> and it sucks for them. But, yeah, we, we are just, we're struggling really, really badly right now. Recruiting-wise, though, it's nothing compared to uh, my opponent. Uh, yeah, we only have three commits. And none of them are as great as his. So, yeah, it, it, it's, it's going bad. It, it's... Not looking good. Things certainly have sucked so far for us, but a win against Indiana this week could really help Tanner's morale. It's tight early on, and I'm starting to question how we've sucked so much this year. Dude, this Wimsat guy is fast. Holy. Dude, why are we losing? We still have a lead. It's small, but I've learned to accept my small things in life. We just got to get another seven here. Come on, Tanner. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Finally got some legit separation. We're up 10 and in the red, so just need a first down here, and it's GG's. Please. Gavin. 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 You stood. That fourth down secured us the dub while everyone is treating Gavin like he just invented a way to talk to dogs. After the game, taking a look at our commits, it's not nearly as good as Bordeaux's class, just not ideal at all. Yeah, to no one's surprise, we sucked. Two wins. Just yucky. Awful, man. We we couldn't even score. Yeah, the final game, we lost to Maryland, the fighting Terrapins. Freaking turtles, but yeah. What'd you guys expect? <laughs> We're awful. Gotta check on Bordeaux now. Bright said is I can't imagine his record was much better than ours. So we just lost four straight after we beat Auburn. That was expected. Where was were we the bottom of the division? Oh, we did finish bottom of the division. That's unfortunate. We're also gonna be losing quite a few starters, but I'm gonna make sure that Will Shepard stays, and of course he is going to do so. Same way for us players leaving wise. We had a lot of guys leave, but thankfully it's not down to the world losing all you guys. Adios, amigos. Bye bye. I mean, we need a lot of humans to the team, and we got a lot of humans. Unfortunately, though, they all are not that great at football, but we do have some athletes, though. Michael Blah from Canada, Hamilton, Canada. We like him a lot. Also, Martha. Gardner. Hopefully some of these guys are like 75 overall once they get to their position, but yeah. I don't know, man. It's 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 uh it's not looking good. I thought I was gonna have a better recruiting class than you, but it finished with 58 and yours was 50th, so you technically did have the better class. Well, it's because I have more humans. Crazy. It's basically it. Your your class is definitely better than mine. The only thing we have is strength in numbers. I mean, there's 480 overall, so I really don't understand why it finished worse, but I know some of them are Jucos. I think this is going to be a stacked class. Okay, so going into year two now, what do we got red shirt wise? Let's see. This is disgusting. I need to get skill players. This team is not bad. It's not, dude. You keep bashing yourself. You did a great job. You did way better than I did. Team honestly isn't much better, but I mean, it's a slow, it's a slow progress. We'll get there eventually. It's just we get, we get, it's gonna take some hiccups. There's gonna be some hiccups along the way. That is for sure. Gavin's basically our Noah. We just really gotta hope that he built a really good arc and that everybody else can get on board because uh, if we don't, we will drown. We decided to take a look at our preseason conference predictions, and it wasn't pretty. Of course, all the way at the bottom. Hey, anyway, we got better, barely. Luckily for me, I'm sure Bordeaux has projected a similar fate. Oh shoot. And yeah, my whole division is stacked. Oh my gosh. 
Well, I don't think I'm going to win a game in the SEC play unless we beat Florida, which would be hard. But this happened in real life. Florida lost to Vanderbilt this year. Recruiting-wise, there's a lot of players that want to come to this school, and I'm going to schedule them for the Florida game because I feel like we can pull off the upset, especially since I'm jumping into that one. Are they blitzing again? I just... Go, 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 go. <laughs> I hope he's fast enough. Go. Yes. <laughs> AJ Swan's also playing for us now, so I'm happy to see him out there. And it ended up coming down to the wire, but on the onside kick, we recovered it. That's a big win. That's over a top 15 team. I mean, I know it was at home, but there were also a lot of recruits visiting, so I'm happy with that. Oh my gosh. So I have the number six recruiting class because of that right now. Granted, that won't last. Certainly isn't a sight I want to see, but it's time to check on Tanner and see how his Scarlet Knights are doing this year. Well, if anybody ever tells you the miracles don't happen... They're lying. You're seeing one right now. I have no idea how to explain this other than that. Miracle. Yeah, I mean, these two wins, I, there's just no explanation for it. It's going to go unsolved for, yeah, forever. So, yeah. Uh, the FCS games, though, they make more sense, even though they lost the two of them last year. So, yeah. Confusing times in uh, at Rutgers, that's for sure. Now we get a big home game this week against Penn State. It's time to see how much pixie dust we have left. For this week, I can't wait, man. We got a colony of kids coming for the game. They had a choice. Either go to Rutgers with Coach Professor Potter or honestly go to Vandy with, uh, you know, Bordeaux. So I think the choice is obviously easy and he they they all made the right one. Well, we're down three. Our offense hasn't shown any signs of life so far. We desperately need something good to happen. Oh my God. Dude, our offensive line is so tra- Meow. Vanderberg, don't like, come on. Somebody catch the big boy. No, it's a touchdown. That's depression. Yeah, dang it. Shoot! Dire situation here. We're down, and they're in the red zone, but I feel like I got a pretty good idea of what they're going to do here. I'm just going to run commit. We know we, we know they're running the ball. Let's bring everybody down. What? You can't be... Dude, what? Oh, my God. I just got bamboozled. We scored quick. Now we just need to stop them on this third down. Of course, we're run committing again. If they pass, they, they got balls of steel. Please, guys. Thank you. Love it. In field goal range, but Tanner's no pussycat. He wants the dub. Touchdown. <laughs> Not a Touchdown. Well, tough loss to say the least. The Penn State fans are added to the pain. Ugh, what could have been? Some more depressing news. We lost Evan Gray to Bordeaux, so yeah. Wasn't the best day for Coach Professor Potter. It was a minor setback for a major comeback as a major target for both of us announced his commitment. Oh, yes! Oh, let's go! Oh, Antoine, uh, smart boy, coming to Rutgers. Well, we did not finish above 500 in the Big Ten, but you know what we did do? We did make a bowl game, so there is something to be happy about. There is something to smile about. That is for sure. We lost two out of our last, I think that, what's that, math? Six games, but they're against all good people. Except for, Purdue, for the Purdue loss. That kind of sucks, losing to the Boilermakers. But yeah, this is a miraculous season in so many ways. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm just kind of glad we didn't finish at the bottom of the division. Above Kentucky, Tennessee, and Auburn is pretty good. There were some disappointing results in here, but the fact that we took down Tennessee and Kentucky is a huge win in my opinion. Love seeing Bordeaux miss a bowl game. He can watch us take on Wyoming, the Cowboys. Okay. Oh, it's the Hawaii pool too. Perfect. Got the boys on the beach. It's gonna be a great time. Oh, what? Nagurski. Good job, Aaron Lewis. Oh, he got a Lomb Vince Lombard. Oh, Aaron Lewis. That kid must have had a good year. 34 TFLs, Aaron Lewis, you freak no wonder our defense was good this year we had this guy coming after the pass through every play yikes i'd be terrified no scoring game early but we're just getting our feet wet a touchdown here is imminent oh touchdown x gavin gavin beautiful rochelle 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 got the ball back man the defense has been awesomeness we know gavin can make a play here before half there we go jabba jabba Cristiano, we're killing them now. Up 32. Let's just hand it off to Sam. And he swerves his side. He's fighting his tail off to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Samuel. Oh, yes, Coach Professor Potter. I love confetti. It's like I'm li reliving my birthdays when I was a little boy. This offseason, once again, I'm losing a lot of solid talent. But the most frustrating part is safety. Jacob Peterson wants to transfer out. You're doing the right thing. You're going to have more than please, 120 please. tackles. Yes! Bye-bye, Jacob. That's see you later, Jacob. That's disgusting. Now it's time to see my players leaving, and let me tell you, I am very stressed out. Please don't be anybody good. Please don't be anybody good. Oh, God. 6'2", 259. I gotta try and hold on to this kid. Come on. 300 carries? <laughs> He's <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> he didn't buy it, man. I mean, Lou's an Aaron, but outside of that, there's a lot of things to look forward to next year. There could be there could be some good things going on in East Brunswick. Sunny data arrived, and I finally got to see my challenger's final recruiting class. All the good people at the top are JUCOs, so there's 
like five the top five guys are all jucos i'm not too happy with it but lots of wide receivers only nine of them maybe i should get some more next year way better recruiting class than last year last year's class was despicable it was just not something to be proud of this year's class there's a lot more to like we beat out Bordeaux for Antoine Mayfield, stud from Hawaii. We also beat him out on signing day, of course, because, you know, Professor Potter, he he goes down to the wire. David Dixon made a smart choice. I'm loving our class. This class is, it, there's a lot of studs. It's a way better class than one last year. That one was, ugh, ugh. let's not talk about it. 33rd? That is... Yeah, you signed a lot of guys. Twice as much as last year. Strength in numbers, man. Even though he signed the 33rd best class, I knew it was only due to him signing a small country. I'm not really worried that we finished outside the top 50. I love our class. After two full recruiting cycles, I feel like it's time to see where both our programs are headed in the future. Oh, look so... at that. 12 in four years. Hey. Oh, hey. We'll take it. overall. Man, we're higher than you. Okay, that's so... good to see. Uh-oh. Oh, there we are. Oh, nine in 2017, though. Ooh. I'm an 84 overall. Ugh. That was much needed ASMR. Next up, though, I take a look at our team for year three. The team's better than the team last year, so hopefully that means we'll have a better record. That sounds like logical, but last year was miraculous. But Gavin's back. Dreads boy. Love him from Kentucky. He gets down to the SEC, but he's a Big Ten quarterback now, and he's been great for us. For the future, though, the running back room looks insanely good. This Samuel Brown guy, he's not the fastest boy in the bunch, but he's very good at football. And same with James Carr. This guy was an athlete. Running back, 77 overall. Future Heisman right here. Future Heisman, James Carter. Like him a lot. From San Jose, California. He's very slow, though, sadly. It's also pretty clear that we're building something special here, as there's a lot of young guys that still have a lot of room to improve. Sitting at 2-2, two two, um, you know, it should be better because I think three of our, three of our four games are non-conference, so that means we lost to somebody in the non-conference, which, uh, not good. But yeah, we beat FIU. We lost to him the year one, and then we got murdered by USC. They won a revenge. Beat Drake, and we lost to Hawaii. So that's great. So that sucks. They're one and three, too. Their one win is against us. So yeah, that's Rutgers material right there. Then before our next game against Wisconsin, I felt like Sherlock Holmes as I just discovered the likely cause for our suckiness. It's starting to make sense. Wimsat's hurt. Gavin! Oh, oh that's why you've lost. Oh, Gavin, no, buddy. No, Gavin. Professor Potter, we need some sort of magic that can bring him back to life razzle dazzle some double door on him or something i don't know before we jump in i want to give you guys an update on recruiting and how that's going i mean the recruiting board it's it's a lot better than it was the first two years i'm liking out it's an upward trajectory right now i'm a big big fan but me and mr bordeaux are battling for jj Ware. he's coming for a visit this week we're gonna push him to commit if he doesn't commit then we, we might be screwed. And we have 10 kids coming for this game this week against Wisconsin, so uh, yeah, we better win. This game feels like do or die with Gavin injured, but luckily our backup was impressing Mr. Bordeaux. Your backup quarterback is pretty good. Well, this is the freshman we got, bro. The redshirt freshman. This guy's a, he's got yeah. speed. 6'4", 199. He's got like 84 speed. We, yeah, we, you, don't even need, you don't even need the guy I'm oh, going Oh, stop after. it. I'm going after him regardless. Oh, stop. Yes, love it, boys. Up 14 and we're in field goal range before half. We just can't shank this. Oh, my gosh. Our kicker sucks. That was the what worst the kick I've ever seen. That was gross. <laughs> We've stayed persistent. Up 24 now. We just need to put this baby away. Oh, yeah. There it is. Kyle Meningna. Touchdown, baby. GG's. This one's over, bro. We killed him. A much needed win for us in so many ways. We better not rest in our laurels. We still lost to the Rainbow Warriors. Just can't get over that, man. If it pops up a yellow, JJ wears committed. I'm going to be so upset. Come on, All JJ. Right. Please, no. No, oh, okay. he didn't. Oh, okay, gosh. thank goodness. I think we JJ. got him. Hopefully. Definitely sad news for Coach Professor Potter, but we did end up landing a different recruit after our win. You got him from me. We'll take a job. Smart man, Cedric. Smart man. That's a quarterback. He's probably a good quarterback. Started the year three and two. Not bad, but we haven't won a conference game yet. Jumping into the Georgia game, which should turn around our season, hopefully. All nine of these guys are coming in for a visit, and hopefully we can land someone like JJ Ware. It's going to take a lot, but if we can pull off the upset, I think it might be able to happen. Well, the defense has done its job today. 36 to 15 is incredible, and I'm trying to end it with a bang, but I'm just going to throw picks. AJ Swan. I hope he doesn't graduate. If he ever leaves, I'm going to be devastated. Negative cool out Bordeaux took Kirby and the Bulldogs to the woodshed, but whatevs. It's time to see if JJ committed or not. Thank you, JJ. Smart man smart man let it go the distance jj let it go the distance i might not have gotten jj but i beat you out for Corey bush which oh, is a Corey huge didn't even signing. come for the that's not good man Corey even try and come for the visit vanderbilt is six and two we are bowl eligible right now who did we beat, beat? South we won at south carolina so we're three and two in conference play oh, my God, oh that's bad we have okay, to finish good, the good. season with two wins over these four schools and i don't i don't see it happening this is good i like this 
Well, we finished at four and five in conference play, just a little bit under 500, so I don't get to recruit anybody better. And it's all because my favorite team, Kentucky, beat us. We would have been able to do it, but they ruined our season. AJ Swan was second in the country in passing yards, which is insane. And I'm just hoping he doesn't declare for the draft because the sophomore threw for 46 touchdowns. Yeah, there's nothing to say other than this is just a catastrophe. I don't know what happened. Uh, it's like we forgot how to play football. We did not win a single game in our division. So yeah, it's a sad, sad day in New Brunswick. I'm not very happy with how the season went. Did not win a single game after we won, we beat Wisconsin. So yeah, we just, I mean, none of these games are even close. I mean, the closest game was what? 15, 7, 17 points to Michigan State, 10 to India. Just, oh man. Professor Potter is on the hot seat. Things are looking down. Very, very down. I mean, the recruiting's going great. Things are trending up, except on the field. It's trending down, but everything else is trending up, so. We ended up making the guest Pearl Bowl against USF, which I find interesting because I just moved to Tampa, so hopefully we can win it. Iced kick for our first bowl game win, and it is going to be straight down the middle. We're going to take down USF at their place, and I'm just hoping AJ Swan does not declare for the draft. I hope he does. I did not get an extension, but every year we are climbing the ladder, getting better and better. Sadly, it was now time to see Professor Potter's fate. Really hope our AD is sympathy and understanding. Uh, Professor Potter was uh, fired, and it looks like, wow, good job, Bordell. You're second in the top candidates, so congratulations. Oh, there it is. But yeah, I'm going to have to get a new coach. Uh, it's not a good situation at all. I'm going to have to restart from scratch, and yeah. Not good at all. Happy Gavin Stan, but I mean, you guys can screw off at this point, honestly, dude. I don't know what happened last year. It just everything fall apart. I don't know. The only thing that could turn this frown upside down is if AJ Swansong declares early. Please, AJ. No! He's staying. He's staying. No. Okay, okay. I'm not happy that we're losing Evan Gray. That's disgusting. Things are going downhill like Rasputin are going down the slide in Norbit, but finally we got some good news before signing day. Hey, you got the 78 that you wanted end that i was going after yeah because the visit even though we lost on the visit i think we're just gonna go 5k for these two and just concede jj Ware after coach professor potter got fired so there we go uh, just jj, JJ Ware is just welcome home he's gonna be very well taken care of our quarterback just threw for almost 5,000 passing yards well professor potter would have given him love and affection he couldn't get anywhere else so well, it's not as good as last year's class, but I'll still take the 39th best in the country. That is not terrible. And it's headlined by a lot of players that are special teams and JUCOs, but that's okay. We got a lot of tackles. We got a lot of athletes. And JJ Ware is obviously the main focus. I mean, this is our best recruiting class yet. Uh, the, the sad part is, though, this, this uh, yeah, him, he, he's gone. Phoenix City? I, I That's got to be a typo. I don't, I don't, yeah, I doubt that exists. But anyway, JJ, sayonara, bro, chacho. But yeah, our class was the best one we've had yet, but I'm dejected right now. Perfect. Professor Potter got fired. There's an uproar with the with all the players. So yeah, it, it's it's just a sad day. I mean, the class was top 50, eight behind Vandy, which yeah, whatever. It's it's all it's all three stars, so it's not the end of the world. But the only thing we could take away from the season was the fact that Vandy did not go by 500 in the SEC. So yeah, that's about the only the good thing that happened. Everything else was just depression. After signing day, it was time for the training results to come in and see how much their team's improved. I don't know what overall this team is going to be, but the training results have come in. AJ Swan's a 96, and we have a lot of guys that are about 88s. We got a good young core, man. It's just, ugh. This year and next year is probably not going to be the brightest. I like the championship contenders thing that showed. That's probably going to be when we start to pop. It's clear I'm looking towards the future. The present is pretty dim going into year four. I mean, I don't hate the team. It's not awful. It's definitely progress, especially I think this is the fourth year now. So yeah, it's the fourth year. So there's definitely improvements, but we just cannot suck again like we did last year. Last year was just inexplicable. It just cannot happen again. Gavin's back at quarterback. We need him to ball out. Last year he got injured. Please don't get hurt again, Gavin. That's all I ask, man. You're a stud. We need you blocking for him we have a really good young offensive line like this team's core is really good and really young we haven't really recruited many jucos so uh yeah probably should have done that so we didn't suck so much last year but i like the team a lot going into this year i'm actually feeling pretty good about this team i'm hoping we can be very competitive and i'm just going to redshirt the guys that we're going to use later on down the line like i always do for this next season we're going to be playing each other week four that should be fun can't wait for that before going into the season we were both curious bumblebees and wanted to see where our teams are predicted to finish this year oh gosh you're projected to finish last in the conference. I mean, at least we're an 88 now. Well, you're projected in the middle, so you got that going for you, I guess. <sighs> Texas is a 99? Oh my gosh. Well, at, least, at least you know Ole Miss is overrated. Well, I certainly was not expecting it, but we have started the year 3-0. and I don't think we're going to finish that way, but at least we did take down Ole Miss, and next up, I will be playing the Tan Man. I mean, the only thing that we can really hope for this year is beating Bordeaux, which I 
I don't know. I doubt it'll happen. But, I mean, we are above four teams. So, if we could just beat Indiana, Purdue, Michigan State, and Maryland, we will be able to recruit four stars next year. And uh, we need that in the worst way. But, yeah, we just opened the season up, beating two FCS schools. So, I mean, after last year, losing to Hawaii. So, I'm, not every game is a given with us. And then we lost to USC. So, yeah. That's nice. This game against Bordeaux feels like life or death. It's clear Tanner is far more desperate for something good to happen. We need this, guys, in the worst way. Pooey. Bordeaux drove down the field. We really need to even to hanker down here. Go, 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 go. You chunky there's dude. Just, there's just no chance. There's just no chance nobody even thought, hey, you know what? The quarterback could maybe take the ball. Yeah, no. It's all right, though. We drove right back down the field at the one yard line. We just need Gavin to be a big boy here. Come on, Gavin. Come on, ball, ball, be a ball, yeah, yeah, you the ball, 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 the ball. Of course, he's back down in our territory quickly. Come on, defense, do something cool, please. Oh, please, play. go, go. Or yes. Not. That's great. Love that. Faced with a somewhat difficult decision here, but now for Coach Professor Potter. We're going for it, and we're going to get a touchdown. Uh-oh. Pick it. Oh, my <gasps> gosh. He dropped no. it. That's huge. That's huge. That should have been a catch. I thought I had the angle. I guess not. Might have fudged up there, but we're back in his territory, and we're going to give him a taste of his own medicine with this counter. Go, Samuel. Samuel! Oh. Uh, he just That's wants it more, down. man. The kid's got grit. Oh. Ooh, yes. Fourth and five. Bordeaux is going for it. We need to stop here, guys. Whoever makes a play gets a crunch bar. Ooh. That was open. Please. That was Please. open. What? Yes! yes! No. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Success. Good job, boys. Sadly, we've stalled on offense. We acted like we won the game. Now we have to make a difficult decision. This is it. If you don't get it, I win. I got to go for it. I have no other choice. You're going to get down the field and kick a field goal to win. I have to go for this. That guy. Pick it. That was not good. Uh, yes. Okay. okay I got yes. three timeouts. It's my only yes. hope. Oh, okay. my God. That guy okay. came from outer space to pick it off. Oh. Yes, we're hankering down a defense, but this play, we have to get a stop. Third and 11. This is it. It all comes down to this. Um, please. Yes, oh, let's go. No, no, yes, no. Yes. Please be out of field goal range. Please be out of field goal range. Apparently, he has confidence in his kicker to nail this, but we bribed the holder pregame. This should go poorly. Please, please. Short, short, short. No. Yes. No. Yes. Well, Coach Potter may be down 250 bucks, but regardless, we need Gavin to get groovy here. Don't really like anything here. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, that's a pick. That's a pick. God. Thank goodness I Scott came away with one, it. Dude. <laughs> Just did a loss of words we lost, and uh, yeah, Tanner's a sad boy. After that win against Tan Man, sitting at 15 in the country, and it's just going to keep getting better because the game I'm jumping into this season is at number one Bama. Actually, it's at home, but that's very exciting because all of these studs are coming in for a visit, and I'm hoping that I'm able to land them. Well, evidently, the home field advantage made a major impact because this one wasn't even close. The backup is in, and here in season four, we're sitting at 5-0, and which is all because of AJ Swan. Well, just like expected, every single player that we wanted has committed after we took down Alabama. All this happy stuff for Bordeaux is just not good at all. We really need him to lose this week against Tennessee, so we can't recruit four and five-star recruits next year. I don't think I'm beating undefeated number two Texas in week 14, so it all comes down to week 12. And against Tennessee, we finally get our fifth win in conference play, putting us above 500. The only thing you can cheer me up is seeing Rutgers with a good record here. Please tell me we bounce back. Yeah, we still suck. We're sitting at four and six to no one's surprise. Uh things just they haven't gone well i mean I, that eight and five season was a mirage i still don't know how it happened yeah it just i don't know there's no explanation for it i mean the games you'd think that we'd maybe win we lost including the indiana wisconsin game but we somehow beat michigan so yeah i'm not happy about that as a michigan fan but i mean whatever it's it's for the cause it's good for the cause so i guess that's the bright side if we want to stay bowl eligible we got to beat michigan state this week please guys don't suck and for this game we got sparty we have a ton of guys coming in for the game i mean recruiting has been a struggle since professor potter you know he got canned so yeah we need to try and impress these kids as much as possible so please win somehow guys Make it happen. Things have gone beautifully. We just need to get another touchdown here. Whoa, Samuel just dolphin dived. That was kind of cool. I didn't think that was even physically possible, but that looked cool. For once, we get a win. Feels like we're allergic to those nowadays. Really hope that helped us land some recruits. Well, after we beat Sparty, we had some guys commit. Very, very happy with it. Uh, this recruiting class is not going to be as good because, you know, got fired. Been very, very sad. This season's been... Quite pitiful. Even though Coach Potter got fired and had to reset his recruiting abilities, we've still managed to be formidable on the trail. Oh, Brett, you s just made the worst decision of your career. After Brett made that smart decision, it's now time to see if we clinched us our second bowl game. Yeah, we missed the bowl game again. It's not going well at all. I still just, yeah, there's, it's not good. But you know what? 
there will, there's brighter times ahead. All right, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. I have faith that Professor Potter is building a winning program. I really do believe in him. Yeah, we finished with a loss to Maryland, so yeah. Lost to another poopy school. Nothing new in Rutgers, man. Nothing new at all. I have to say, I'm thrilled with how this year went. We went 9-3 and three with our only losses being to Florida, Georgia, and Kentucky. And the only bad part about it is if we would have beat my Wildcats, we would have won our division and made the SEC championship. AJ Swan ended up leading the country in passing yards this year, but I doubt it's going to be enough for him to win the Heisman as he is sitting here at fifth. He ended up throwing six picks, which isn't much, but he just isn't in consideration for that top spot. Well, that's about the result we were expecting, and we ended up making the Liberty Bowl against Oklahoma State. Well, we're going for our second bowl game win on a last second field goal, and this one is also going to go in. So what an ending to AJ Swan's career, assuming he declares for the NFL draft. Well, it is unfortunate, but AJ Swan has entered into the draft. He will be gone next year, and his miraculous college career has come to an end. No one in East Brunswick is going to miss AJ. However, it is time to see who's leaving Coach Professor Potter's program. All right, well, Georgie's going to leave us, so see you later, Mr. Clown Boy, but yeah, we don't need him. Gavin, goodbye, soldier. Team's pretty young, so a lot of people are going to be coming back. Hopefully next year we can get back to a bowl game. That should be a reasonable expectation. Well, we were only able to send 12 guys, but we only had like eight guys graduate, so it kind of works out well, especially with Professor Potter getting fired. So I guess it worked out in the end, but yeah. Wallace Weaver, this might be our man. We'll see. Hopefully he can uh, bring us a natty because uh, we need somebody to contend with JJ over there in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. 100 second class, you know, I don't like being in the triple digits, but once again, it was a smaller class and so it's not the end of the world. Coach Potter's a happy man on signing day. Now we need to see how Vandy did today. I'm glad to say I'll was almost able to crack the top 25, signing 25 three stars in this class. But in reality, most of these guys aren't incredible, and I'm just going to have to cut a ton of guys, but we need the depth, so I'll take it. The new year has arrived, and Tanner's feeling cautiously optimistic. All right, it's easy our best team yet. There's no excuses this year, Professor Potter. We need to get back on the four and five star stuff, just like Bordeaux is right now, because uh, he is extending his lead on me right now. We need to uh, we need to start winning games on the field, guys. Charles Brooks is going to be our new quarterback. He's a fast guy, but yeah, his overall is not the highest. I just, I'm hoping that he's just a baller, man. We need a baller at quarterback right now. Defensively, we got Kenny Fletcher. We're hoping for an Aaron Lewis type here. We need 34 TFLs, 14 and a half sacks. He's got 99 awareness. The guy's never going to be lost on the field. So no excuses, Kenny. We need some production, buddy. Some more great news this year is the swan song is now gone. So Bordeaux is going to have a new general on his team. Well, I guess we're going to have to see what JJ Ware can do. He's coming in as a sophomore. Going to start with Chase Gillespie in the backfield working with him. And at wide receiver, he has a lot of people to throw to. So I think this could be an even better year than last year's. But with a schedule like this, I'm honestly just hoping that we can get to 10 wins. Huh. Looks like we're also projected finish fourth in our division this would be perfectly okay with me though dude please just finish in fourth thank you that's all i need oh god michigan state for no reason has a 99 overall offense well at the midseason mark sitting at three and three haven't won a single sec game and i'm not happy about it we have lost to texas a&m at bama and against georgia so it has not been fair matchups unfortunately i'm gonna have to make a quarterback switch take out jj Ware, put in john meeks and see if that can switch things around if we can't bounce back against auburn we're in a lot of trouble but thank goodness we finally do. Not only did we take down the Tigers, but I've also stolen Cody Chase, Eric Reed, and Mike Birch from Tan Man, so things are going great. Now I know how Rocky felt against Ivan Drago. There's no doubt we're currently outmatching the trail. The good news is that Rocky did beat the large Russian, though. Well, unfortunately, since Coach Professor Potter got fired, it's uh, really halted our recruiting, especially against uh, Mr. Bordeaux. Uh, you guys already saw, but yeah, we lost out on three very important guys, so uh, it's not looking good, but we do have a lot of good guys left on the board, though, so hopefully we can get a land like Jimmy Brown. That would be big time for us. We're also worried about the on-field results, of course. Please tell me we've somewhat improved. Finally! Success! We're 6-2. We already have bull berth. I just need to go above 500 in the Big Ten. I need to be able to go in four after 4 and 5 stars, just like Bordeaux. That would help out the cause in the best way. Banked Hawaii, lost to USC, so our two losses, Indiana in overtime. It's just like, what happened? But we somehow beat Penn State, so I mean, I guess, if, I don't know, dude. The Indiana, we lost to them three years in a row. I, I don't know what's going on whenever we play them. There, there's something weird there, but we did kill Purdue the last week, so that's nice. This next game is a home against number one Ohio State and we have a ton of guys visiting let's hope our witch to the genie comes true these visits are incredibly important especially against Ohio State if we can somehow win this game we're gonna have a lot of guys commit and we really need it for some momentum man on the recruiting trail because the on the field production it's starting to pick up it's an insanely intense game at double overtime and it looks like they're settling for a field goal be nice if they just miss this I doubt it but look at the Scarlet Knight over there very good distraction I'm distracted we'll see if their kicker is though yeah, he's unfazed. Oh, yeah, second and goal. I don't want to take any chances. Let's be smart here, friends. I really just want to run this in. I don't want to have to pass. Come on, Sammy. You're 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 built like a like a fridge. Come on, buddy. Come on, Samuel. Samuel. Sammy. Sam, I am! Sam, I am! Let's go, you! Come on! 
go, baby. Where's Professor Potter? I want to see him happy. Charles Brooks played great, though. He's good. Except for me throwing, like, five picks with him. That's my fault. I take full responsibility for that, Charles. Blame me. Ever since I decided John Meeks was going to be the starter, we have won two straight. And I'm hoping he can make it three as I'm going to jump into this game at number one Florida. I also need to mention the fact that this is the best recruiting class I've had yet as there's so many talented guys in it. And with two and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter, I was not happy with being up by just nine. I had to go for the bomb and guess what? McGowan would not only come down with it, but break the tackles and go into the end zone like this. It was incredible. Of course, Bordeaux pulled off the upset. Luckily, though, we have some good news ourselves. All right, so since we beat Michigan State, we are now officially 5-3. and three. Even if we lose to Maryland, we're going to finish above 500 so we can finally go after four and five stars next year. I need, it, I need it really, really bad. But things are finally going in the right direction for once. Back to stupid Nashville. Hopefully, Bordeaux lost a couple games. That would be a nice early Christmas present from Santa. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to be able to top these few schools in the division, but we are sitting at 8-3. and three. We ended up bouncing back from those three losses mid-year. We've won five straight, and we might end the year with a win at Texas. And that's all because I benched JJ Ware and decided to start John Meeks midway through the year. Then recruiting-wise, obviously, I've had an advantage because I could go after four and five starts, which is great because this class is so much better than anything else I've put together. And the program just keeps on going up as we are sitting inside the top seven right now. I was hoping we'd get even farther, but we ended up falling just short of making the playoffs. And for a bowl game, Tanner was excited, but had mixed feelings. Ooh, mayonnaise. Yuck. Don't like the condiment, but... We'll take the bull game. I don't know if we're going to beat Stanford. This is a tough matchup. And oh, wow. Yeah, I got they blown out. murdered you. <laughs> Holy. Oh, That's gosh. That's bad. That's bad. I'm a catch-up guy, but it doesn't matter. Win the bull game. Yes, What's let's that? go. Yeah. Take you those. Drenched. You're going to get drenched in white stuff. Oh, yeah. Professor Potter is not a fan of mayonnaise. He is. He's going to He's gonna yak. So after our first double-digit season, we finally got a contract extension. That was quite the jump up in wins. We doubled our wins. Hopefully, we can keep going on the rise. That is the goal. No one's even transferring, dude. Professor Potter's got a great culture. A good amount of guys leaving, but the team next year, it should be even better. So things are definitely on the uprise, man. It's, it's a good time to be a Rutgers fan. Vanderbilt is clearly the superior program right now. We are putting forth five more people into the NFL. They're going to get drafted, and we are just doing a great job at funneling people there well that was a blow i wouldn't poke the bear though coach potter can be a very dangerous man when angry but today on signing day he's very happy with his class well we can only go after three-star recruits again but honestly this is probably the best three-star recruit class we've had yet so i'm really happy with how things went we signed eric frank juco only two-star but yeah we have plenty of dudes that should probably help us in a couple of years and uh yeah i'm pretty happy with the class 75th of the country it's you know, man, it's, it's a work in progress, All right? Next year, Professor Potter, he'll be top 10. Can promise you that. I'm pretty happy with finishing with the number one recruiting class in the country. Everybody wants to come to Vanderbilt. And the best part about it is we stole a ton of guys from Tan Man, like Nick Griffin. They've come over here because they wanted to go to the better school. The Bears officially tired of being poked. We're coming for blood for year six. Another year, lots of improvement. I'm liking the roster a lot. I'm really, really hoping that we can recruit better because we need to start making up for the last couple of years. The last couple of years, Mr. Bordeaux has gotten way better big advantage over me. We can not let that happen again. Charles is the commander back at quarterback for us. I'm really hoping he can have another good year because uh, I really would like another improvement so we can get some more team prestige, try and get some better players because we need some instant impact guys uh, in the secondary because the secondary corner's fine for the next couple years, but the, the, we need a safety and a strong safety next year. There, there's a lot of turnover at that position. I'm feeling great going into the year, but now it's time to see what Bordeaux's got cooking up. I am a little bit surprised that even though we're in a stacked division, Vanderbilt is projected to win it. I'm hoping that's what happens. And I have gone back and forth on this decision, but I'm going to be starting junior JJ Ware instead of John Meeks, even though I started Meeks last year. We're projected to be the fifth best team in the country, and I'm going to put the ball in his hands. Hopefully, I can trust him, and I'm looking for a tan man's team, but he's all the way down here at 14. Just can't stop catching strays. Let's see if his team can back up all his smack talk. I am very surprised to say that we have started the year 3-0. and We ended up beating Texas A&M 69-24. to They were ranked third in the country, and we just have to keep on winning. The schedule is tough from the start, but I'm hoping we can sneak into the playoffs. It might not end up being that much of a long shot because we are the number one team right now and JJ Ware is in the Heisman race. We're one and two, lost two straight. I don't want to talk about it. Let's just hope Bordeaux lost a game or two, please. Well, going into week seven, I am going to be taking on Alabama. We are still sitting as undefeated number one team in the country. We got a couple wins at Georgia, at Tennessee, and I'm not sure if JJ Ware can win the Heisman, but I'm so glad that I stole him from Tan Man a few seasons back. Near the end of the third quarter against Alabama in the game I jumped into, I just decided to throw it up and this happened i don't know if i can pull this one off oh my gosh and after that moment it would stay tied at 35 until the end of the fourth quarter surely 
We don't miss this ice kick to take down number 14, Alabama. It is up, and it is going to be good. His team's immune to losing. Hopefully, he has a vaccine and gave it to us recently. It's time to see where we stand. Once again, we absolutely suck. The only thing we got going for us is that we're top 25 ranked, but our first two Big Ten team, uh, games, we uh, we lost. So, yeah, it's uh, not, not going well. Beat the crap out of Drake. Lost to USC in Iowa, and then had two close games against FCS schools. So, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, compared to last year, it's 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 not looking good. I, I don't know. Recruiting has also been a struggle. I mean, we have a decent board. It's just whenever I have to battle against Mr. Bordeaux for a recruit, I just automatically just concede because uh, Mr. Potter is not a good as good of a recruiter as he could be at this moment in juncture because he got fired. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's not looking good compared to uh, what's going on over there in Nashville. And this is what's going on in Nashville. Ugh. Not that it really matters at this point because how good we already are, but a lot of new people commit and this recruiting class might even be better than last year's by the time it's all finished. This is the last difficult game on our schedule against the Longhorn, so I'm going to go ahead and sim it. Hopefully we can stay undefeated and we are just going to sneak by them. Surprise. They can't seem to lose. If we have any chance of turning the season around, we got to beat Penn State this week. Very early and we're already at the goal line in the spike formation. Uh, just another dumb here, please. I'm just going to run. He's so fat. Okay. Ineffective. Bad idea. There we go. Mr. Maurice. Stevens has been bonkers this game. Up 13 at the goal line. Let's seal a deal here, boys. Oh, there we go. There we go, Charles. There we go. Yeah, it was a dominant win. I just wish like, we would play like this all year. So, yeah, hopefully maybe we'll turn things around. I don't know. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of season left, so we'll see. The fans are certainly loving it, though. Somehow after 10 games, we are still undefeated. We just finished up our SEC once, and we beat Kentucky, my favorite team, and all that's left is FIU and Western. Just a holly jolly time at Vandy. It's time for us to check on Coach Potter and see how his Wizards are doing. So after the win over Penn State, we beat Indiana, which is nice because they've been beating the crap out of us the last few years. And of course, lost to Purdue, and then we beat Ohio State. So yeah, this team's very bipolar. Uh, it's really just, there's no way of knowing what's going to happen. It's very hot and cold, Katy Perry style. So yeah, we'll just see how we can end the season. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. We won out and we're somehow fifth in the country. I think it has to do with the fact that we did beat Ohio State, which is also something. This season, like I said, it's been bipolar. I, I can't explain it. There's just, it's, there's a lot of mystery going on, but we've really done a good job ever since that Purdue loss. So hopefully we can sneak into the playoff. That would be awesome. Well, to end the year, somehow both of us are sitting here in the top five. Rutgers had a good run. So did we. We're undefeated and we have the conference championship coming up. So we'll see how this shakes out. We might both end up making the playoffs. I'm still a little bit shocked at all the success we had, but we started the year against teams that were all ranked at one point. They ended up not being as good as I thought. And that's why we're sitting at number three in the country right now. Even JJ Ware technically has not been that good as he's sitting fifth in the Heisman race, but he did lead the country in passing yards, which shows he's been dominant. 41 touchdowns is certainly impressive, and he also supported two 1,000-yard receivers. Now we're taking on LSU in the conference championship, and I was hoping that it wouldn't be close, but they've done a great job of staying in it. Well, once again, it has been another close game that we are going to win on a field goal, assuming this goes in, which it barely does. Vanderbilt are your SEC champions, and it's time to see if Rutgers snuck into the playoffs with me. Personally, I'd like to avoid Tan Man, but we'll see what happens. How am I number three? This is unfortunate. I can't believe you snuck in over UCLA and you and Oregon. Neither can I. I'm sure Coach Potter has some friends of the committee. Either way, Bordeaux is playing Boston College, and we get USC, who spanked us earlier in the year. I cannot believe this game is close. After we destroyed the SEC, I thought it wouldn't be. But Boston College has the Heisman winning quarterback, so I guess it is a little expected. Nearing the end of the third quarter, we should finally go up by two possessions, but they knock it away. And I'm not going to lie, JJ Ware has been struggling. Fortunately, despite all that, the defense has been very good. Definitely a lot closer than I would have liked, but we have run out a ton of the clock here. And with about 30 seconds left, we're going to go up by nine, sealing our win. That's going to send us onto the championship, and we'll see if Tan Man makes it. I listened to some Whitney Houston in the shower, man. This is going to be a W. I mean, I have all the confidence in the world right now. Perfect. Their defense picked a great time to play possessed, although I really want a field goal here, though. Please? Let's go! Woo! That's a big, that's a big field goal right there. That guy's gonna get himself some fun tonight. They're trying to get back into it. Still no idea how any of this is happening. Let's just recover this. All right, guys, just still funny business, okay? Please just recover the onside kick. Very fundamental pitch and catch. Let's just make it happen. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, buddy. Walter. All right, well, since we somehow beat USC, I still don't. I don't know why we're here or how we got here, but we're here. So we're playing Vandy 14-0, Bordeaux, uh... Scary times, but we'll see if we can uh, pull off a uh, massive upset. We're in his territory, feeling confident, but we need seven here to let him know this game won't be a cakewalk. Let's go. Pick it. Yes, oh, go, oh, Benny! Come on, big Dude, boy! Come on, Derek! Good night! Feeling great, but if we have any chance of winning, we need the demons to play awesome today. Come on, guys. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's not fine. Oh. Go, 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 no, go, 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 go
Back in offense, we just need to do what we did last draft. I've got confidence. Yeah, I don't blame him. I like that. He's trying to bulk up. Get in that hole. Get in that oh hole. My oh, God. my gosh. Of oh, fumble. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. I was about to lose my mind. That's a huge play. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Charles. Oh, boy. He's got the goal line. Not a fan. We need someone to make a play here. The players that have made the plays on you are probably the players that I stole from you in recruiting. Like that defensive end. Possibly. Oh, he's open. That's great. We're not going anywhere. In the red zone, Charles is feeling a touchdown here. Let's hope he's right. Oh, no. Perfect. Oh, Perfect. God. I got stuck. Perfect. Let's go, Mikey. Stop defense. We are alive. There's hope. Love this. The defense win the junkyard dogma. We can't choke this, guys. Okay. Third and 24. This is not ideal. I swear. Okay. Moss him. Moss him. Oh, thank no. the heavens. There's two. It was two oh. on one right there. I didn't like those odds, but it worked out well for us. High stakes situation, down seven. But we're in Bordeaux's territory. Looking to tie this game up. Pick it, pick it, pick it. Yes, Rich Walski. I don't know who you are, but you have done it. This is a national championship. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Pick it up, pick it up. Okay. There's some hope, guys. I'll stop you at third down, and things will get interesting. You run commit. I burn you. How fast is Wise over there? Pitch it, pitch it, pitch it. Get out, get out. Oh, no. Thank you. Time out. Let's go. <laughs> Dream's not dead. Dream's not dead, Professor Potter. Dream is not dead. Okay, Tanner, we have new life. Make something happen here, Charles. You'll be a legend. Come on, team. I'm trying Come to throw team. the... Get a sack. Oh, my God, Charles. Get a sack. You're the best. How is he getting out? There's no Charles! Way. Charles! No Charles! <laughs> oh, no. Wait, there's a flag. There's a flag. Please, no. He surely... There was something wrong. Illegal touching, I think. Yes, yes, yes. That was dejecting. Well, better hope for a miracle here. I want the defense to get a fair stop. That illegal touching. Oh, my God. It's going to haunt me in my dreams. One fair stop, defense. It's going to haunt me in my dreams, mommy. Yeah, it's gonna One fair back. stop. All right. GG's. National champions, Vanderbilt. That's so Why depressing. is there no celebration? I have no idea. That's a good question. There is no celebration. Well, you don't. You don't deserve a celebration. You don't, you don't deserve <laughs> one. You don't deserve one. I'm disappointed in myself more than you could even imagine. I am dead inside. Bordeaux also made a video with me on his channel. It's right here. Just click the video on the screen. I'm sure you'll love it.